Hello everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to Jar Red Gaming. Welcome to a game called Bitter Root. If this is your first time to the channel, we like to play games that maybe you've never heard of before. Perhaps this is one of those games. If this sounds like something you're interested in, then I implore you to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring that bell notification icon so that you'll be notified of future videos. That being said, I've never played this before. I know almost nothing about it. I know it is in the retro Game Boy style of game, so the aspect ratio is going to be a little different than a full screen that we're used to, but I love retro. You love retro, some of you. Trooper Carl loves retro. I'm Trooper Carl, and I approve this message. So let's just dive straight in. Damn it, what a perfect time for this pile of junk to break down. It seems we were booked some lasts. Looks like a storm is coming too. Oh my. Oh! Can we just leave? I mean, it's it's not not getting anywhere in this broken down thing. I guess we can't just leave because it's obviously broken. Dang it! Can we check the trunk? Can we check under the hood? Engine's looking fried. Oh, well, we better find shelter quick because we've got a storm brewing. Oh, I love this. A driveway? Maybe someone might have a phone up there. Or maybe you'll die. <laughs> Let's be honest, you're in the middle of nowhere. What's the worst that could happen? This is a very nice house for the middle of nowhere. Here we are. Um, can I knock? Knock, knock. Who's there? Your doom! Exclamation. It seems to be unlocked. Uh, does that mean you're just gonna go in? You don't just go into a house because the door is unlocked. People leave their doors unlocked all the time. Hello? Is anybody home? I'm trespassing. I hope that's okay. Who does this? I mean, seriously. These dusty shelves packed with things. Wonder if there's anything useful. A lighter. Oh, nice. We've got inventory in this game. It's almost like a point and click, but without the pointing and the clicking. <laughs> anything in the shelf? No. Anything in the fridge? I'm not hungry. Well, eat anyways, you've already trespassed. You might as well steal. We, we've already done that too, because we got a lighter. Uh, sink? Have these a sink? Sink isn't working. This place sucks. What is this, another, is this a door? Ooh, it is a door. Where does it lead? Is this, a, is this like a freezer? I'm not sure what this is. Looks like a control panel for the house. Okay. Don't mess with it, you'll probably electrocute yourself. Is it like a fuse uh, panel type of thing? I don't know. Oh, I guess we should explore a bit more of the house, shall we? Ooh. Dark and ominous. Oh, we can go up it. We should have explored the rest of the downstairs first. Damn it. Let's go back down and do that. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. I like to systematically explore creepy places. <laughs> More shelving. Some family heirlooms and old photos. They all look so sad, like they knew something. Awful was going to happen to them. Ooh. I wonder what that could be. Some sort of family curse, maybe? And another door? Where does it lead? This place is rather large, looking from the outside, so I imagine there's quite a bit to look at in here. A uh, bookshelf? A book seems to be missing. Hmm. Perhaps we need to find this missing book. Uh, a door, a door. Locked. Damn! Okay, I guess we have no other choice but to go upstairs. Everything else is either locked or nothing. All right, all right. Up the creepy stairs we go. What will we find? Nobody knows. Okay, second floor. Let's go right. Fireplace. Question, a fireplace, who lit it? Well, probably the owners of this place. Just because the door was unlocked doesn't mean no one lives here. I mean, come on, use your brain. Grr. What are you, a red? Creature's coming after me, no. I can't do anything, I can't move. Get away from me, you creep. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna run away. Is it chasing us? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Okay. Interesting. What was it though? Ooh. Flip the switch. Yes. Click. Ooh. Fuse must be out or something. Wonder if there's a circuit breaker anywhere. Well, we know that there is. We've been to it. Can we go up more? It's 
pitch black out there. I need to find a way to turn on the lights. Okay, fine. Well, I just we need to go turn on the damn lights. We were just there. I don't know why we couldn't just flip some switches randomly. I mean, we've done everything else that doesn't make sense. Why not do that? I like the music too. Very, very Game Boy retro. I really dig it. Okay, flip the switch. The fuse box. This should make all the lights work. Click. It moved. I don't think we need to turn the power on. The whole room shakes, but... I think all the power is on now, I guess. Flip that switch, baby. Oh! Oh, hi! So happy to find someone in here. I know I sound crazy, but my car broke down. Is that crazy? I mean, that does happen. And I just need to use your phone. I tried knocking, but no one answered, so I decided to just trespass instead. Hope you don't mind. Hello? H hello hello Oh! Oh my god! Oh god, what is happening in here? Heads are rolling. Oh. Ma'am, are you okay? <laughs> Looks like there's a key around her neck. What? Doubt she'll have much use for in her stay. Oh wow, we suddenly don't give a crap about the headless woman standing before us. Thanks for the key, bitch! Lock door, lock door, lock door. Is this the key to this door? Ah, it would seem it is. <laughs> oh, is that a head in a jar? Does it speak? Oh my, hello there. My name is General McTavish. Apologies for my current state. Oh, uh, don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. Not that I could if I wanted, because <laughs> you're a head in a jar. Look, I just need a phone and I'll be out of here. Well, I would know what or where that would be. He doesn't know what a phone is. But I can give you a hint on how to get around safely. If you would look into the closet over there, you'll find a camera. Those things out there don't much like having their picture taken. Okay, thank you. You find an old camera. Neat. How do I, how do I use items in this game? Thanks, Mr. Head. Take that camera, get whatever you need, and get out. Okay, bye. We don't seem faced by headless people and heads on their own or anything. Let's see what we can do. Press B. Ooh! It's not B on a keyboard, folks, so I guessed lucky. I, Z is A and X is B, and there was really, really the only two buttons on a Game Boy, so... Lucky us. Uh, what's over here? Another bookcase? Old books and newspapers stacked up on top. There's a headline about the youngest of the family being decapitated by some freak accident. Great. Well, let's just go through this door and forget about that, shall we? <laughs> Any more creatures, I wonder? Ooh. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Uh, oh. What was that? What the hell is going on in this place? Oh, I'm so concerned for my safety. Ah, uh, weird. This mirror must be broken. I don't see a reflection. That's not good, lady. That usually means you're either A, a vampire, or B, you're dead. Can we just take a shower? No. I'm feeling really filthy. Is that all that was in here? It was just a dude in red. Okay. Sure glad we met that dude. I guess we need to go upstairs again. I don't think there's anywhere else for us to be. The lights still seem to be out. Uh-oh. Maybe I can find a flashlight. I have a lighter. How do I use it? I don't know how to use- I don't know how to use other items. I don't know what to do now. I can't seem to access my other items. Press B. Okay, I- I just assumed that all the enemies would be in red. I mean, there was red because of blood, but... Okay. Well, is this a door or like a, a cupboard or something? Looks like there's some candles in here. Maybe these will help light the way. Ah. Okay. We have a plan now. I guess it does it automatically? Apparently so. I'll take it. Camera at the ready. Ooh. A box. A wooden box. I need something to try and pry it open. Why? Why would you even think that? Because it's just a box, and it must be opened. A cabinet. Nothing useful inside. 
Oh, hey, hey, you, is the skeleton speak? I mean, I guess we shouldn't really, really be surprised. I need your help. Oh. Oh, no, you're one of those things haunting this place, too? No, I'm just trapped here, trying to be at peace. Please help release me. Okay. Th that camera. Quick, free me and return my body to my armor in the other room to be at peace. You can then take my axe to defend yourself. Okay. Say cheese. Oh, my. I guess I should return this skull. You got an old skull. <laughs> what in the world? It's so weird. I love it. Do we need an axe to defend ourselves? We have this freaking awesome camera, which banishes things. Maybe the axe is to get into the crates. Mm. Ooh! Was that him? Did he come back? How dare you? I freed you, and you returned my good favor with an ass assault upon my person? How dare you? More news clippings. They talk about one of the family members hanging themselves because of the distress of the events that took place here. That would be the skeleton. Great. Hey, I got your skull, dude. I guess this is where that guy wanted his skull returned to. Uh, the armor let go of the axe. You pick up the axe. Well, good for us. Let me axe you this, sir. What do I do with the axe? Use axe to open crate? Yes, please. Oh, drink into dusty clothes. Oh, and there's a ring that looks brand new. Take it. Of course, take it. It's so pretty. There's an unnatural feeling drawing me to it. Uh, that's probably bad, right? That's gotta be bad. Use axe. Yes. It looks like old newspapers. They talk about the owners of this place. Apparently the whole family died here. It says there was some curse upon this house. No one ever came back and it was kept secret even to the living relatives. Glad we came here. Super glad. Open that crate. Give me the goodies. A book! <gasps> Ooh, I wonder if this is of any use. I bet it goes into the bookshelf that was missing a book. This is so much fun. I mean, I know it's kind of slow paced because of the retro vibe of it, but I just love it. Looks like the book I found fits in the open slot. Is it a door? Place book. It's got to be a hidden door, right? Click. Aha! Yes! You're so smart. What's the worst that could happen, right? Ooh. Going into the dungeon, maybe? Where the curse lives? Ooh. What is this? Oh, the music. I love it. I wonder if this leads out of here. But you never found a phone, so, I mean... Ooh. Stop. You shouldn't go any further. You're not ready to face what lies ahead. Well, who are you to tell me what I am ready for and what I'm not ready for, Red Sir? He's not doing anything to stop us. He's just saying, don't do it. We're going to do it anyways. Of course we are. Oh, have we here? Hello. It's a statue of a beautiful woman. Is it me? Looks like the same woman from the paintings upstairs. I did not look at any paintings, but okay. Looks like there's a spot for a ring on one of her hands. Are we going to climb up there? I have a ring. You want it? Place the ring on her finger. But of course. <gasps> Looks like some sort of a talisman or gear fell out of the statue. A gear? You pick up the talisman from the crumbled mess. Apparently we were ready for this. Ah, there's nothing else in the rubble. Well, I'm glad we just destroy everything in our wake. Moving on. Ooh. What is this? Locked. Looks like there's a place for a missing piece. We have a piece. Place the talisman in the hole. <laughs> if I had a nickel every time. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Who, who are you? Why do you look like me? I am a part of you in the same way you are a part of me. We all are. We all try to protect you. You were home. You were safe. But you decided to leave. I'm sorry. I had to see the world. What are you even talking about? We hoped no one would make their way back, but the family curse found you. Oh, no! 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 Who are you? Are you saying that I'm part of the family that lived in that terrible house? 
You are living in that house, my dear, to your great-great-granddaughter. Ah! Oh, you made quite a mess. Uh, sweep it up. <laughs> glass. Hmm. She shattered into glass. How interesting. Oh, ooh, careful. Did we get our reflection back, or... Or what? what? I, don't, I don't understand what just happened. <gasps> oh, we died. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Oh. Oh, that was so cool. That was so super cool, guys. I really enjoyed that so much. I love the retro. I mean, I remember having an original Game Boy when I was a kid. And just playing games like this just takes you back. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and leave a comment. And if you're new to the channel, again, I would implore you to subscribe to the channel because there's more where this came from. After all, you made it to the end of the video. You might as well take the next step. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon and I'll see you in the next video.